Hey guys, it's Ivory. Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing another look using the Morphe X James Charles palette. This was the look that I was able to create using only his palette. I did go on his Instagram and look at a couple of pictures to see maybe I wanted to recreate a look and this is actually a look that he has done. I'm gonna put up a image of it right here. These are colors that I wouldn't normally play with or think to pair together but on him it just looks so pretty and I really want to try and do things that I haven't done before and when I showed the picture to my friend she was like it looks like colors of a parrot and I was like oh my god that's perfect yes I definitely see it now when I look at the picture it definitely is like colors of a parrot anyways I did do my best to recreate his look before we get started be sure to subscribe if you haven't already I post new videos every Wednesdays and Sundays and post occasional bonus videos throughout the week so without wasting any more time let's get right into the tutorial so I already primed my eyes I went in with the fit me concealer this is in the shade light and without setting it I just applied the urban decay primer potion right on top of it. James did say that the shadows perform differently or I should say better when you use a eye primer versus just using concealer on the eyes. In my last video I just went ahead and did the concealer and the primer and I didn't have any issues. Over the weekend though I tried to do eye looks without using a primer and it made a big difference. So if you are having issues with this palette and I know some people are, try just using an eye primer. I use both concealer and eye primer just because I like to have a very opaque base. But if you use something like the MAC soft ochre paint pot then I think you should be good. Starting off with an e.l.f. blending eye brush I am first going in with the shade You're Kidding which is a true red and I'm going to stamp that into the socket of my eye. The color is not nearly as vibrant if you're just going to be blending and blending. I really suggest just stamping it in and then really pressing it and oh my god this is so unrelated but ever since I got married over a year ago I gained a ton of weight. I'm talking like 30 pounds okay and my ring didn't fit anymore because I got chubby but I started with my fitness pal again and I'm just kind of watching what I eat and being more mindful about it and also making healthier choices and my ring finally fits I mean my fingers do look a little sausagey but at least I was able to get my wedding bands on like that's exciting I'm not trying to lose all the weight that I gained but I want to lose a good amount of it just because I was really thin on my wedding day I could probably maintain it but I, I probably wouldn't be eating a lot of junk foods I mean the last two to three months before my wedding I was eating super clean I stopped eating at 6 p.m. I was only eating I think about a thousand calories a day and that was including going to the gym for an hour I cut carbs out completely I was eating eating only healthy foods. So I don't think I could maintain that type of diet, but I really want to get better at just being more mindful about my food intake. And also I don't really want to buy new clothes. Like right now my clothes just barely fit, but when I sit down, it's like super uncomfortable. So now when I go out to eat and I sit down, I have to put like my jacket over my lap and then unbutton my pants because they're so tight and my muffin top is like so spilling out and I don't want to scare children so that was kind of a wake up call for me. <laughs> Next with the Morphe M506 brush I'm going in to the shade 518 and I'm gonna blend out your kidding and this is a really nice and small blending brush I don't know if it's specifically meant to blend out other colors but I like to use this brush to do that just because I have really limited eyelid space and I have mono lids so if I use a big fluffy brush it'll go up to the top and I won't have space for other colors so whenever I look at a eye look that I really like and I want to replicate I have to think about how to scale it to fit my eyes and with this color since I want it to be a fade you don't want to be stamping it too much I'm just gonna go straight into swishing it around with the same brush I'm going into the shade B and I'm gonna blend out 518 so you're not really gonna see that color and that's totally fine it's really just to make sure everything is seamless and that it kind of fades nicely I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used for your kidding which is that red I'm not adding any more product but I'm just re-intensifying in the socket just because when you blend sometimes the color kind of fades away so I just want to re-intensify it a little bit and once it is at the vibrancy that you like I'm going in with a q-tip and I'm gonna add some micellar water this one is from Garnier do not get the one that 
is for waterproof. That one leaves like a really greasy slip to it. You don't want that for an eye look. And I actually don't like that one for even removing my makeup. Like it's too greasy. But I'm gonna take the Q-tip and I'm gonna clean up a little bit on the lid. You don't have to do this. You could apply concealer right on top if you want to. But I feel like the colors are more vibrant if you don't have that red shadow underneath interrupting and mixing with the, with the blue. So I kind of just carve out as much as the red as possible. And yes, you will kind of remove your concealer and your eyeshadow base. So I do have to go in again and reapply it. But at least the lid is totally clean and it'll be less work applying the blues in the end. And once the concealer and eye primer is reapplied to the lid, I'm first going in with a small flat shader brush and I'm going into the shade Hello. And I'm gonna apply that into the inner third of my eye. To get it to be as vibrant as possible, I would suggest using a damp shader brush and then after you apply one layer, going in with your finger and adding a second layer. I do this with every shimmer and metallic that I have. With the same brush, I'm going to flip it and then I am going in with the shade acapella and I'm gonna place that right next to hello so lately I've realized that every single time I do a colorful look I always do pinks or purples and I posted a video of me doing a pink look it was with the violet Voss one I'll put it up here in the suggest if you're interested but someone commented and was like I love it are you gonna start doing colorful looks now and I'm like this is colorful, what do you mean? <laughs> That's why I'm doing this look because I want it to be like, okay, she did a colorful look for sure. There is no disputing that. <laughs> I swear if one of you guys come for me and say that this isn't the colorful look, I'm gonna be violently crying off camera. All right, and then for the outer corner, I'm using the Luxie 243 brush and I'm going in with the shade Escape. Escape. Does anyone know what movie that's from? <laughs> it's a Disney movie and it's like one of my favorites. I actually love pretty much all Disney movies. I grew up watching Disney. My favorite shows were like Lizzie McGuire and Kim Possible and The Proud Family and Sister Sister, which I assume James also really loved and is basing his entire career off of that show because I mean, yeah, he reclaimed sisters, but don't forget, Tia and Tamara Maori are the ones who started that shit. And with this color, not only am I blending it in the outer V, but I'm also kind of just applying it into the socket really lightly. And this is pretty much the eye look, but what I wanna do is go in with the flat shader brush again and just give the blue shadows a once over so that they're super vibrant for one. And then two, I wanna take this time to really blend them in so that everything is seamless. And then with a pencil brush, because I cannot decide, I'm going in with both ring light as well as so good and face they're all kind of similar like they all kind of have that yellow golden undertone and I am gonna apply that to the brow bone lastly for liner I'm using the sleek fierce felt liner I'm just gonna apply it to the base of my lash line I'm not creating a wing today just because we already use tape so it already gives that really cat like effect so I don't feel the need to add a wing And now for the best part. I know most people would think just having the eye look itself is the best part, but for me, it's ripping off the tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off super sensually. Ooh, I love it, it's so good. Okay, one more time, one more time. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not satisfying. If you say no, you're lying or you're weird and we can't hang. So this is it for the lid. I'm going to go off of camera and then I'll be right back to do the lower lash line. Okay, so the rest of my face is on, but before we continue, I have something I need to show you. So my dog loves being close to me and she loves coming into the basement. So when I put down my robe, she like made it into a little bed so that she could be next to me. Isn't she so cute? She's just sleeping and having little puppy dreams. Okay, I'm sorry. That was super unrelated, but I just thought I'd show you because she looks so so cute. Starting off with the e.l.f. eyeliner brush, I'm going in to the shade 
escape. I'm going to tight line my lower lash line. This is probably the best purple I've used thus far. In Bling Boss, Jaclyn Hill has a couple of like purple toned shadows and I mean, I, I can work with them, but it takes a lot of work like they're pretty patchy so compared to the bling boss from the vault and this this is a huge upgrade next with an elf eye crease brush i'm going in with the shade 518 518 i don't know and i'm going to blend out the purple i'm kind of just mirroring what's on top without the blue and then with the same brush i'm going to apply b and i'm going to blend out 518 in the waterline, I'm going in with the Rimmel London Coal Pencil. This is just a white eyeliner, and this is just gonna really open up the eyes. I actually learned this trick from Tyra Banks. I used to be obsessed with her show, The Tyra Show and America's Next Top Model. But I don't have cable anymore, so I can't watch her show. But when I was like in sixth or seventh grade, I would come home and Ellen DeGeneres would be the first thing I watched, and then right after, I would watch Tyra. <laughs> and then using a pencil brush, I'm going in with the same gold cocktail that I did before with face ring light and so good and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner and then using an M501 brush I'm going in to the shade face which is a highlighter I'm just gonna add it very lightly I'm also going to add that highlighter to the tip of my nose as well as the bridge. And this is the final look, guys. I think it came out really nice. I wouldn't think to pair these types of colors together. I love doing colorful looks, but I will admit that I'm not the best of thinking about them creatively in my head. So when I think about colors that I think would go and then actually sit down and try to do looks, they don't always look the way I think they will. So if you're ever on Instagram and you see a look that you think might look nice on me and you want me to replicate it, just go ahead and tag me in it so that I can come up with new looks and, you know, of course, give credit. I'll always give credit. But if you ever want me to recreate a look or you think I might like something, then go ahead and tag me in it. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video and feel free to comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!